Minecraft Field of View, how would you live without it? It's how you see your surroundings, like that precious Diamond Door 8 vein you just found, or that creeper that just blew up in your face. But Minecraft Field of View is like a fine cheese. It requires true refinement in order to establish the taste that you're looking for. And just like cheese, we all have different preferences on what type of field of view we use. Okay, the cheese analogy sucked, but you get what I meant. So whether you've honed your FOV settings down to an exact science, or you chose them using Google's random number generator, let's see what your Minecraft FOV says about you. This list is going to be ordered in chunks from smallest FOV to Quake Pro, so without further ado, let's start with the smallest option. 30 FOV. If you are playing on 30 FOV, you basically want your screen to look as chaotic as possible. H how are you even supposed to play Minecraft when a single block takes up a quarter of the screen? Side effects of playing on 30 FOV include flashing lights, epileptic seizures, headaches, nausea, and who knows, coronavirus? If you play on 30 FOV, you're either a masochist or you really love horror games because every time I turn around it's like a jump scare. Also, for the love of God, avoid slowness potions like the devil, unless you want your camera to zoom more than the freaking Hubble telescope. 31 to 50 FOV. When you PvP, you probably don't have the greatest aim, so you've decided to set your FOV to a low value so that the player hitboxes on your screen are bigger. Not like that's gonna save your PvP skill anyway. Your favorite Minecraft effect is the slowness effect, so you decide to make your screen look like that all the time. You don't have Optifine zoom, so you decided to decrease your FOV to get the same zoom effect. Or you know what, maybe you just wanted to be unique, and when everyone was setting their FOVs to 90 in Quake Pro to match their favorite YouTubers, you decide to go in the opposite direction. Hey man, there's nothing wrong with that, just remember that you're about as screwed as the 30 FOV guy if you get slowness. 51 to 68 FOV. People in this FOV range probably play with a big mouse pad, low sensitivity, and jitter click super hard because the bigger the hitboxes on the screen, the less accuracy matters. Because of their 25 cookie clicker arthritis clicks per second, they also favor aggressive close combat Minecraft PvP styles. It's great though, just give them a bow and they'll hit fewer shots than an untrained monkey would. To use this FOV amount, you're probably the hardest jitter clicker in the world, since faster jitter clickers use lower FOVs, and you'll be able to flex your amazing clip on the two people who will upvote it on the r slash competitive minecraft subreddit. 69 FOV. Nice. Normal FOV. If you use normal FOV, you're either playing single player or you just installed the game. It's kind of like a sin to use normal FOV in multiplayer. Like, I've seen people use 69 and 71 FOV in real games, but never normal for some reason. Anyway, that being said, normal FOV isn't very practical either, so here's a little tutorial for all you new players. Step 1. Press Escape. The Escape button is the button on the keyboard that says ESC, which stands for Escape. Then you'll want to click on the big button that says Options, and then see that little slider in the top left? Drag that to some place on the right of where it is now, and congratulations! You're now on the road to becoming a true Minecraft legend. No sarcasm intended. 71 to 89 FOV. If you're a normal UHC style, no debuff, sumo, combo duels, or OP type Minecraft PvPer, you probably play in this range. This is similar to the 51 to 68 FOV range, except it's actually practical. Most PvPers who jitter click or want to get nasty Reddit worthy combos play in this range, so if you've mastered this skill, congratulations. I'm sure your friends and social circles and family are gonna be so proud of you- Oh, wait. 90 FOV. I like to call this the Hypixel FOV. Skeppy plays on it, Technoblade plays on it, I used to play on it, but now I've been cursed to lower it because of playing Minecraft PvP games. In general, most of the chill, laid back, and I like to play Minecraft multiplayer because it's actually fun, people play on 90 FOV. So if you've mastered the craft of using the good old 90 FOV strat, congratulations, your average? Con congratulations, I guess. 91 to 109 FOV. 
Shui, get ready to make the jump to hyperspace. Suddenly, your vision is starting to warp out of control and the landforms around you are beginning to stretch. Are you high? Did someone spike your drink? Are you sick? Oh, oh no, you're just using 91 to 109 FOV. I guess if you really like the feeling of speed too, this FOV is for you. People in these higher FOVs tend to be more sporadic, like the kind of people who will run between classes or speed 100 miles per hour down the freeway. Although, let's be honest, most of these people aren't even old enough to have a driver's license. To use this stretched FOV, you have to be like Sonic, and the problem with being faster than light is that you can only live in darkness. And if you really want to go to hyperspeed, just splash a speed potion. Quake Pro. Ah yes, the good old Quake Pro. Everyone knows about it, even some non-Minecraft players. Everyone knows deep inside that setting your FOV to Quake Pro is a commitment. You have to know what screen bending shenanigans you're about to get into before you even change that FOV slider. And once you do, prepare to be in a world of hurt because oh my god, how do people play like this? Enemies are about as far away from my crosshair as America is from Australia. Like, th this is insane. <laughs> See, I want to make fun of Quake Pro like I did with the other FOVs, but the problem is that there's actually a large amount of people who use Quake Pro regularly as their standard FOV, and and while I don't really care about what FOV you use, I still can't help but consider what it would be like to have Quake Pro in real life. Your eyes would need to like wrap around your head in order to get that field of view. Anyway, to all you Quake Pro users, I don't know how you don't have permanent head trauma and migraines, especially when you get any speed effect, because your screen's wobbling back and forth like crazy. I hope there's no side effects of that in the future, like some sort of Quake Pro-itis. Moral of the story, we all have our own preferences for FOV, whether it be seizure-inducing or mind-bending. Use whatever you want, I honestly could care less, and tell us what FOV you use down below so we can start mini FOV arguments in the comments section. But anyway, thanks for watching the video, like and subscribe, and uh, thanks for coming to my TED Talk on Minecraft FOV. Later!